Welcome to The Frugal Life. My name is Katie. We had a pretty busy weekend, which is interesting because we didn't do much. Uh, we had a sick five-year-old and it was really snowy this weekend, like really snowy. So it's all melted down. I'm looking out the window and it's all melted now, uh, at least all over the sidewalks. And uh, we just kind of take advantage of my five-year-old being sick and us not having a lot of outside plans. So I did all of my grocery shopping <laughs> on Saturday. So I went to Winco for my actual like food groceries. And then I also went to um, Walmart and Costco to pick up like my household groceries and then a couple food items from Costco as well. And it was a lot of money to spend at once, um, but our hope is that doing it once a month for like the household stuff will keep us out of the stores longer uh, throughout the month. So we had a busy Saturday for that. And then Sunday I was able to prep a lot of things because we were snowed in for the most part of the day. And then we were able to just meal prep, plan things out, chop up all the veggies that we needed. And I feel like I had a pretty productive weekend. So I'll come along and see how it went. And just to explain what I've been doing, I made like a master list of all the stuff we buy that's like, household non-food items so this is like our household stuff like laundry detergent band-aids cleaning stuff paper towels toilet paper yada yada the kids like hygiene things my hygiene things and another one for my husband's and then I have it across I really just wanted to get a better idea of what I'm buying and like how frequently I need to buy it so that I can better include it in the budget um, this actually, in February, I kind of forgot to go and we just kind of made do. There's a couple things we went and bought and I marked a couple things, but we kind of just didn't go shopping for a lot of like household grocery things in February. Um, but this month we did and I need to go back now that I've gone shopping and just mark off everything that I bought. Um, but I'm really excited because the whole point of this was that I was seeing how many extra trips we were taking to Walmart and Costco. And, you know, just to grab that one thing, it always ends up grabbing like six things. Um, my husband always likes to pick me up treats and it's very nice of him, but um, <laughs> we need to, to rein it in a little bit. So um, hopefully with this, you know, the idea is that we do one, at the beginning of the month, we check off everything that we need, we go grocery shopping once for these household items, and then that's it. That's all we need. Um, and so far it's going well. It just means we have a big shopping trip at once which I'm okay with because I'm planning for it and then as the months go by I'll get a better idea of how much I'll spend each month on these things because I'll just be able to have been keeping inventory so I think I'm a genius and probably people have been doing this for decades and I just did not do it <laughs> I also forgot that I stopped by Smith's and hit up their clearance rack. Um, I got these two packages of pretzel bites for $2.88 each. Um, my kids and my husband love when I pick up croissants. So we're going to make some ham and cheese, little sandwiches with those for dinner tonight. And I also grabbed some Cheez-Its, um, these little individual packets. They really are just nice to have for my kids to take to school for a little snack after lunch. Um, also got these pretzel sliders. We'll have a fun little dinner with those. And there's a half gallon of milk, all for $14.83. And for our Winco trip, this is the refrigerated stuff. Got some cream cheese for sandwiches and just some shredded cheese that we need, lactose-free milk for my son. I was not planning on getting this, but it was a good price, so we will be using that. Um, corned beef, glad I got it at a good price too, because, you know, it's March. <laughs> uh, the butter was on sale for under $3. Got some of the best dressing in the world, a couple Chobani flips for my daughter. The deli cheese and meat was on sale, and those are really tasty, as well as a good price on bacon and the Black Forest ham. Here's our pantry items for Winco for the week. We are going to do our pizza night on Friday using just flatbread this week because it is so good. And I just like to always have tortillas on hand and we were out. We'll use these for our Hawaiian haystacks this week. Got some tea. The salsa con queso is for those pretzel bites. I like to have the pancake mix on hand and as well as the cilantro lime rice for an easy meal, not together. <laughs> uh, some everything but the bagel seasoning, instant mashed potatoes, bread, and hoagies. And onto our produce from Winco. I grabbed some carrots. We just eat a lot. Uh, celery, cucumbers. The asparagus was on sale, so I grabbed some of that. Um, green grapes. I always make sure they're seedless because I don't like seeds in my grapes. Uh, some lettuce for salads this week. My daughter saw the kiwi and begged for them. They were a good price. Uh, we eat a lot of bell peppers. 
as well as apples and pears. And uh, the, the onions were on a good price, so I grabbed a couple of those. And then the lentils should have been in the pantry section. And my Winco trip was $144.47. And I just really like how pretty produce looks in a nice bowl. <laughs> uh, these kiwi are a little hard. Hopefully the apples help ripen them up a little bit. And I don't care who you are, soft pretzels and cheese dip is the bomb. And here is our Walmart haul. Uh, I got my son some uh, non-dairy yogurt. He's got a lactose issue. So we thought we would give this a try and see how it goes. Also my husband's just bar soap, some new dish soap because we were running out and um, some supplements and lotion, and my daughter needed new mouthwash, my moisturizer, the kids needed flossers, um, more medicine, bag balm. My husband requested the Starburst jelly beans. I needed some razors, and I got this. So actually, well, let's do this first. So I needed some shampoo. Um, my daughter's best friend, it's her birthday, so we grabbed her a Kit Kat, because that's her favorite, and then this, um, what are these things called? These pillow things, it's a skunk pretty cute. And this was all $134.30. And from Costco, I first picked up this peach mango salsa. Man, this stuff's good. And it's going to be gone in a few days. Um, also, I really like getting these avocados um, so that they don't go bad before we get to them. They don't get stringy. I hate that. Um, my kids love trail mix and I love these tortilla chips. They're delicious. Um, we also like getting these pouches for my kids, mostly for the baby, but sometimes my girls too. Got some dish tabs. My husband loves these Impossible Burger Patties. Um, he also loves these protein bars. They're not my favorite, so I don't eat them. There's like three flavors. He he loves them, so whenever they have them, I can grab him some. Um, also eggs. They had eggs. It was so good. They didn't have egg whites, but they got a bunch of eggs, so I was glad to get that. And fudge bars. My husband had already put these away, but we also got a big box of the Premier Protein Shakes that he likes. So there's that too. I forgot to include in there, we also got a box of diapers. I think it was 45 bucks for a big box of diapers. That's crazy. Um, and then a thing of paper towels. We don't have to buy paper towels very many times a year. So it was our time. So the total for this trip to Costco was $224.96. Ouch. But... Again, a lot of that will last quite a bit. So that puts our grand total for this week where we had a week's worth of groceries, plus some extra food to that will last longer than this week alone, plus a month's worth of our like household groceries. That puts that grand total at $518.56. I spent all of that, except for 14 bucks of it in one day. It felt like a lot. <laughs> but again, I'm hoping that by planning ahead of time, it reduces our overall time in the grocery stores each week or each month um, so that we're overall spending a lot less money because all those extra trips add up fast. Okay, this is what I use the croissants for, just a basic ham and cheese sandwich, but the sauce on these is amazing. I'm going to link the recipe below. You should make this. And it's time to meal prep my breakfast for the week. I'm going to make a breakfast casserole with these O'Brien hash browns. Um, just open it up, let them thaw for a while. Um, I didn't have as much time, so to speed up the thawing process, I got them wet. I just hose them down a little bit and let them be on the counter for a little while. Now you could use hammer, probably even bacon, but I like using turkey sausage. Um, I just love the way sausage tastes. So I opened that up and cooked it on the stove until it was all done and ready. My husband and I both work full time, so mornings get a little hectic getting us ready for work and our three kids ready, getting ready for school and daycare. So having breakfast casseroles ready for me to go in the morning has been a game changer. So once your meat is cooked and your potatoes are thawed, you can mix them together. It's usually a lot easier if you're using two hands instead of recording with the camera, but you know, we do our best. Then you can just mix that together really well and then add in one cup of cheese and mix that in as well. Now you need eight eggs worth. So you can, you can use all eight eggs or you can do a mix of eggs and egg whites. I typically have been doing two eggs and the rest egg whites, but we were out of egg whites. So eight eggs it was. I mixed it with some smoked paprika and then you just combine it all together and it looks kind of fun. It's all gooey. Once that is all mixed together, you can put it in your sprayed pan and start spreading it out and then add in another cup of cheese on top of it. Um, that gets it extra delicious on top. 
then put it in the oven at 350 for 40 to 45 minutes. And you're really just looking to make sure that the eggs have set and it's not runny inside anymore. But you can also just like stop and listen to this sizzle. It sounds so good. For dinner tonight, I'm going to thaw two pounds of beef. So I'm excited for this one. So for dinner tonight, I am making the uh, shepherd's pie recipe from Stay Fit Mom. Um, their recipes are so good. So this one, you need a cup of diced celery and a cup of diced carrots to get started. Then you add a half a tablespoon of parsley and a teaspoon each of thyme and rosemary, and then a fourth a teaspoon of paprika and some salt and pepper. I'll mix that all together and then get started on browning the beef since it is ready to go. Um, and I just, this is my favorite tool that I've learned from YouTube, this little meat masher thing. And you need a half a cup of frozen peas, but I had an open bag of peas and carrots, so I just used that. Um, and then also a half a cup of frozen corn as well. I totally forgot to chop up the onion, so I chopped up half a cup of diced onion and then added that all to the cooked beef so that it could get soft. It smells so good. And while it cooks, I'm boiling up some water for the instant mashed potatoes to go on top. Once the vegetables were soft, I added in the frozen peas and corn, two cups of beef broth, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, four tablespoons of flour, and four tablespoons of tomato paste. This recipe called for using instant mashed potatoes, which some people have issues with, but I think they're delicious. Um, I don't make them very often, but I was glad to have it for this recipe. My kids don't like potatoes in general, but especially mashed potatoes. So I hardly ever make them and just, I you know, mix them up according to the package directions. And then I was just tasting, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to make mashed potatoes more in my life. Then I sprayed my pan, added the beef mixture to it, and then spread the instant mashed potatoes all over the top of it. And man, this smells so good. It cooked at 400 degrees for 30 minutes and oh, this was so tasty. And I need more space in my fridge to meal prep, so I'm gonna eat these last couple pickles. And apparently it was a struggle. So first I washed and picked off all these grapes and took care of them. Then I had another two pound bag of carrots that needed to get taken care of. So those got sliced up for the week. And I also had this extra bag of celery because my husband forgot we had one and asked for another one. So I am just going to take care of this really quick so that we can have a week's worth of veggies cut and prepped for us and just ready to go for our lunches this week. I really liked having these reusable silicone bags to do our like veggie preps in. It just takes up a lot less space in the fridge. And our onion drawer was not looking too hot, so took that out and cleaned it. And yes, I know onions don't belong in the fridge, but when you're in an apartment with a small kitchen, you just make do with what you got. Okay, my kids did not like this oatmeal that I got on a clearance at Smith's, so I am going to make muffins out of them using that recipe I found a while ago. I'll link the recipe below. I'm not going to change it other than um, adding in this flavored oatmeal instead of just plain oatmeal. So I will mix together one and three fourths cup of flour, one third cup of sugar, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, and then two teaspoons of baking powder. Then I add two packets of the instant oatmeal um, and just give it a really, really good stir. Then make a well and add in a beaten egg or just the egg and beat it in there like I do because I don't wanna get more dishes dirty. You need to add a cup of milk. I didn't realize that we were close to being out of milk, so I just decided to use our powdered milk. Um, so I used three tablespoons of the milk powder and then added one cup of water to that. And I've found that the powdered milk works really great in baking recipes. Like there's zero difference that I've seen. Then add a one fourth cup of vegetable oil and then a teaspoonish of vanilla or maple extract. And that's everything you need. So start stirring, but don't overmix it because it won't cook right. And you divide these up between 12 muffin tins, or you could do mini muffins, but my kids like these for breakfast, so I do that um, at 400 degrees for about 16 minutes. These actually look pretty nice. I wasn't sure what they would look like if they would be darker at all. Um, I was expecting them not to be very dark. So uh, this is kind of funny to see. They just look like 
plain muffins with some chocolate chips in them, but they smell good. And I think, I mean, I assume my kids will love them. And I'm going to let these cool on the counter before I put them in the fridge and go to bed because it's been a long weekend and I am tired. All right, that's it. That was everything. It was a lot to do this weekend, but I feel very well prepared for this week ahead of me. And like, I'm going to have a little bit easier nights after getting home from work and getting dinner together. And in the mornings for breakfast, it'll just be a bit smoother. Comment below what you think about my like monthly inventory that I'm doing right now. And if you do anything similar to that and how it's gone for you. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to get more content like this. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks. I forgot to tell you, these muffins turned out really good. So if you remember, these are chocolate muffins. <laughs> well, they're made out of chocolate oatmeal. Um, and I wasn't really sure how it would work out. And I didn't want to change anything in the recipe just because it was kind of an experiment. So I just added the oatmeal mix as is, didn't change anything. And I knew as I was blending it together, like this doesn't look very chocolatey. It's mostly just normal muffins with chocolate chips in them. They taste great. They're not super chocolatey. They do have chocolate chips in them, kind of like I thought. So I think with, because I have two boxes of these oatmeal packets that we are not going to eat, um, I think I'm going to add some cocoa powder next time I make them and get them like chocolatey, chocolate chip muffins. But big hit with the kids. I like them. They're pretty good.